Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the cloth simulator to make a um, to make some cloth easily uh, in Blender. So the first thing we're going to do is just delete this cube from a new scene in Blender. Uh, yeah, so just delete that and then I'm going to press shift A to add in a, uh, a plane. So I'm just going to center this now by like this and I'm going to scale it up to about there should do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press shift D to duplicate this and press Z so I can move it upwards on the X axis. Now I'm just going to make this bottom plane slightly bigger and this here is going to be our cloth. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the object modifiers tab and I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier to this. I'm going to set this to about 5. 5 should do for this. Uh, yeah. So now if I press tab to go into edit mode, uh, first of all I'll apply this and then I go into tab I can see that it's divided this mesh into loads of small parts and this is necessary for the cloth simulator to work work properly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a uh, a texture, a uh, cloth texture. So I'm just going to open a new viewport here and then I'm going to go in and open the UV image editor like this. So I'll just scroll out here. Now I'm going to open a new image and I have this image here which is a, um, a fabric pattern. You'll see it now. If it'll open. Yeah, like this. Got this from cgtextures.com. You can just go there and find uh, find any sort of fabric fabric pattern, and you can you can use pretty much any one you want. So from here, I'm going to on the left hand side, uh, just press A to select all of these faces and vertices. I'm gonna press U to UV unwrap this. I'm gonna just click unwrap, and you'll see it here. Now I'm going to assign a new material to this plane. And I'm going. It diff I'm going to just leave it as diffuse, and I'm going to click here and give it a new image texture, and click here to add this fabric pattern to this mesh. So if we can just zoom in on this and then go into the textured viewport shading, we'll see that it's quite big at the moment. I want to make those those uh, tiles smaller. So what I'm going to do is. Just gonna go over here and select all of these and then scale them up. So about there should do should do fine. I'm just gonna get out of this by closing this window and yeah okay so from here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a cube if I could just get out of edit mode first. Yeah shift A to add a cube just to have something for this uh, cloth to fall on so it's not just falling on a flat plane and I'll put this, just line it up with the ground like this that should do fine, I'm going to scale it down slightly that should do just fine now I'm going to move this down so it's just above this cube maybe a bit lower yeah, that's fine. Uh, make sure it's pretty much centered. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that will do just fine. Now, what we want to do is go over here and click on this physics tab. Go into cloth. I'm just going to set it to the cotton preset and turn up the quality a bit. So, I'm going to set the quality to 7 here. And I'm going to go under cloth collision. I'm going to set the quality to 7 and then self collision quality to 7 as well you can mess around with these settings and change it change all sorts of uh, all sorts of settings that will change the way the cloth behaves now I'm going to want to click on the cube and click collision so when the cloth falls it won't just fall straight through it knows that it wants you want the cloth to collide with this cube and you want to do the same for the plane so I mean that should work just fine. Can move this a little bit lower. 
so the cloth doesn't have too far to fall when we run the simulation and uh, I think that's fine so I'm just going to run this now just go back to the start and run it and you'll see it falls and begins to to uh, deform over the cube and the plane so I'm just gonna stop this here and I mean that should do just fine I mean you can change it and let it run for as long as you want and let it settle but I think when you <clears throat> when you do it it's it's fine if you just let it fall over it depends on what purpose you're using it for I mean it, you could use it for literally anything that uh, where you where you would require cloth. So I'm going to press five to go into orthographic mode. I'm just going to press one to make sure this cloth is lined up with the ground. And as you can see, it's uh, it's perfectly lined up with this plane here, which is fine. And now I'm just going to go back to uh, perspective mode by pressing five. I'm going to set this cloth to smooth shading. You can see this here. It looks pretty good. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add in a a plane just for some light. So we can see it shining off this cloth. Uh, I'm gonna move this down just so it's lined up and is facing the cloth. Just press or to rotate on the Y axis and press ninety to rotate rotate it by ninety degrees. I'm gonna lift this up and move it back just slightly and I'm going to scale it out so it's bigger just move it so it's outside the plane here and that should do fine I'm going to give us a new material give it a emission shader and set it to a yellowish color and give it an emission value of say 10 I also want to set up the background to a sky texture by like this. I'm gonna set the strength of this to about 0.6. It should work fine. And if we render this now, you'll see we have our our cloth. I'm just gonna set up the camera quickly by pressing Control Alt and Number Pad Zero, and give it a quick render and see what it looks like. So there's our cloth. I mean. It's it's it looks fine. It looks fine. You could make it bigger. You could uh, put any sort of mesh underneath it, and it would deform appropriately, as long as you turn the quality of the the, the physics settings up. And uh, yeah, I think that's basically it. I mean, you can add any sort of textures. You want to make sure you add the texture first, so it's uh, easier to UV unwrap, and put put an put an image texture on it. You could put some slight bump mapping or anything you like really onto it and it should work just fine so uh, yeah that's it um, thank you for watching okay bye